morning, everyone. Welcome to day seven of the preset six challenge. So today is not part of preset six. Today it says repeat a day or just make something special. I am super excited about today and I'm being super lazy. Like, wow, super lazy. <laughs> there are so many, I thought about this and I thought about this and I thought about this. I was like, oh my gosh, I could eat anything I wanted essentially if I could try to make it, you know, kind of healthy-ish. What do I want to eat? There are a lot of things out there that I really, really like. Um, like I could have a loaded sweet potato, which would be amazing. I could have, um, I can make some kind of a soup that I haven't had in a long time and that would be just amazing, but I didn't want to do that because either of those, because I can have a potato, I think it was day five and I can have, um, I can have everything really and truly this diet is not exclusive at all. Like I had, um, bread every other day, which is phenomenal. I mean, what kind of diet allows you to eat bread, you know? So I had, I've had bread, I've had um, soy curls, which are good. I had some barbecue sauce on them, which is usually not super healthy for you, but it was fantastic. I've had, I just am not feeling deprived at all. Like not at all. I don't feel deprived in the slightest. So um, I decided to just make my life easy. My husband made spaghetti for the kids a few days ago, and there was a very small amount, a very small container left over of spaghetti sauce. So just this size container, like a little container of spaghetti sauce left over. So what he does is he takes a package of frozen peppers and onions, two of them actually, and puts them in a pot on the stove. And then he lets those cook for a little bit till the water comes off of them because they're frozen. So there's liquid on them and stuff. Um, puts a little bit of garlic in there. I'm not 100% certain what seasoning he puts on there, but I do know that he has a little bit of seasoning. So maybe it's just Italian, but he might be more specific and put like marjoram or I, I don't know what he does to be honest with you. He's the one who makes spaghetti in our house always um that's his thing because he knows how to make the boys can't have tomatoes so he makes a boy friendly spaghetti that i have no idea how he makes it i've seen him do it a bazillion times and i still couldn't do it if he asked me to and uh, my mother's like what if something happens to you people you gotta write these things down for me <laughs> it's like yeah actually he needs to write it down for me let alone for her but anyways um so i was really excited and what do i love with spaghetti not noodles green beans i love Oh my gosh, I love spaghetti and green beans. You guys know this if you've been watching me for a while because whenever I have the opportunity to have spaghetti, I put it on green beans nowadays because it's just so fantastic. So I made a package of frozen green beans and put some of the spaghetti sauce on it and that's what I'm going to take for my second meal. Um, and I'm really excited about it, to be honest with you. Like, for sure, really excited about that. Um, and I'm also going to take, I have some of these left over from the last challenge, so I'm going to take one of these. Um, these aren't exactly a health food by any stretch, but they're not... I mean, they're not horrible, horrible for you. Um, I think that there is oil in here somewhere. Yeah, there's probably several places in here, to be honest with you, because it's probably part of other ingredients. But um, I think it's kind of interesting that I have been very good about zero Pepsi. No Diet Pepsi at all since I started my juice challenge. So I've maintained that. I'm going to continue to maintain that. These have a little caffeine in them. So it's like for real chocolate. So it's got a little bit of caffeine in it, which... Um, I'm not complaining. It's delicious. I love it. Anyways, so I'm going to have that as my second meal of the day. And my first meal of the day, I actually had, um, I can't remember what it was yesterday that I, I don't remember what's in the refrigerator. I either have a cucumber left over or an apple left over from yesterday, but whichever I have left over, I'm going to add the other to it. I have a whole bunch of cucumbers and a whole bunch of apples. What do I have left over in the fridge? Anyway, in a plastic baggie in the fridge, I have something. It's either an apple or a cucumber chopped up. I don't remember. Um, but I'm going to add the opposite to that. So I'm going to have a cucumber and an apple for my first meal of the day. And I'm going to stop at the store and get some rice checks. Which I know is kind of random. Um, but that's what I want. As weird as that is. I don't know why. It just sounds really good. So that's what I'm going to get. Um, <clears throat> no milk with it. I, we have... What kind is it? It's uh, vanilla light vanilla soy milk. Um, that's the kind that we use and the kind that we have in our house. And I don't really care for it much anymore because it's super sweet to me. Um, but the boxed milk that is nothing but soybeans and water is, doesn't, I don't know. I haven't had it in a long time by itself. Um, maybe it would be fine now, but the last time I had that on cereal, because at that point the soy milk was starting to get too sweet for me. Um, I didn't care for it at all. So I haven't had cereal. I can't remember the last time I had cereal, to be honest with you. Um, Ooh, corn pops would be really delicious, but those I don't think are vegan. And even if they were, I wouldn't eat them nowadays anyways. But 
I remember liking them. I remember them being delicious. So anyways, I'm gonna stop at the store this morning and get some corn chicks and um, put them in a, I'm going to take a plastic baggie with me and put a serving of them in the plastic baggie and leave the box in my truck because otherwise who knows how many I will eat because <laughs> that's just how I do those kind of things. So I'm going to get that uh, at the store this morning and I'm going to have an apple and a cucumber with that. And then I'm going to have spaghetti and a uh, cool mint spaghetti with green beans and a cool mint bar afterwards. And um, that should be plenty of food, to be honest with you. An entire package of green beans, um, which I mean, it's not very many calories, but it's a lot of uh, chewing going on, to be honest with you, um, with some spaghetti sauce on it. And the spaghetti sauce, like I said, has soy curls and peppers and onions and garlic and all sorts of flavors in it. So that's what I'm gonna do for today. I'm sure there are other things that I could have thought of to make that would be like, oh my gosh, I should totally eat that. But honestly, I think that this is gonna be awesome, so. That's it for me for now. Um, I am going to do, just to let you know, I'm going to do a measurement update tomorrow rather than today um, because I figure I'll go seven days and do an update on the eighth day and go seven days and do an update on the 15th day um, just because that'll be closer to having it actually be like a full seven days than to see what's going on. So we'll see what the scale has to say tomorrow. Hopefully it says something um, in the right direction. We shall see. <laughs> Anyways. That's it for me for now. I will talk to you guys again later for some exercise. Alrighty, everybody. So I am home from work and we are going to exercise now. So the cereal that I got, corn checks, was, it was okay. It wasn't super awesome, but it was all right. Um, I won't repeat that on my next free day. Um, and then my spaghetti with green beans was fabulous. Like it was super, super fantastic, wonderful, loved it. Um, we are doing legs again today which is not super exciting to me at all. So let me turn around and show you guys. Alrighty guys, so here are the leg exercises. So we're doing a type of squats again, and forward lunges, which I'm not at all excited about, and some lunge steps, which I've, that's that's totally new and exciting, and then calf raises, which are actually really easy. So I am going to go and do this exercise set with my husband, and I will talk to you guys again afterwards. Alrighty guys, so I was actually on my way upstairs to go get ready for bed because we are done exercising and I was just gonna go relax for a little bit and do my teeth and all that good getting ready for bed stuff and realized I still didn't vlog, so I need to talk to you. So first what exercise I did eight pounds and moved down to five pounds for the lunges. I did do the lunges and I did them better this time than I did the last time. However, I made a modification to the third exercise where you're supposed to start in a lunge and go to having your leg up. And I just basically went with my leg back and up rather than bent and then up. Um, I just, my legs are super sore. I'm obviously not physically fit when it comes to this type of exercise. So um, yeah, even still, my legs are super, super sore. Um, so those two exercises I did with five pound weights and then I did a 20 pound weight for the calf, uh, was it called an extension? I don't know, where calf raises, that's what it was called. Um, by about 10 or 11 on the second set, of the calf raises I was starting to feel that for sure so that was good that was actually very very good and walking up the stairs is semi-painful so obviously that's what you're supposed to do you're supposed to hurt yourself when you're exercising so that your muscles are like ow when you go upstairs accomplished alrighty guys so that's it for me for today and I will see you guys again in the morning to make some food which is preset six day one again so day eight will be day one and we'll talk about I'll weigh myself in the morning and we'll see what the <clears throat> scale says is it's doing and all that good stuff too.